I mean, I think also if you look at it more holistically, it's a new strain of Republican politics that seems very much in the image of Trump. Not just the sort of the showmanship, but the branding, the, the self-for-sale aspect of all of this. I mean, it, you know, Trump sold ties and steaks and vodka. Eli Crane is selling bullet-shaped Let's Go Brandon bottle openers. Um, Anna Paulina Luna is a, a person with many personalities, and she's eager to show the country those various personalities. It's, it seems to be about her, not necessarily what she believes in. I mean, and the list goes on. I mean, Carrie Lake was a former Obama supporter and then, you know, was someone who loved the camera, was a television person, we know what egomaniacs television anchors are, and, and politics seems to be a vehicle for fame. That feels new in all of this. Does it, does it feel, I mean, I, I, I know that the anti-institutional strain of Republicanism was very much in effect when you were working with Boehner and Ryan, but the pure, like, heat-seeking missileness of this all, the desire to just be famous for fame's sake, seems like a relatively new development within the radical fringe of the Republican Party. Yeah, and Matt Gates has actually said that uh, he thought that he could sort of defeat Paul Ryan in terms of uh, sway within the party because he went on Fox News more. And, that, and that's how he judged his role. I mean, he doesn't see his role as solving problems, uh, passing legislation. He sees his job as communicating. And it, it, the, the fighting is the ends. It's not a means to an ends. The fighting and the being performative is the ends. Uh, and, and it's just a real breakdown in what you expect. You know, we have this romantic idea of someone who comes to Washington and what they're trying to achieve. And a lot of them, uh, whether you're, you know, you're super conservative, at least some of them believe that they are, are working towards something. But some mm -hmm. of these fo folks aren't even really pretending that they're, they're working towards anything. Now, I do want to say, th this is, you know, we, we talk about these ones who, who stand out. There are still a lot of really well-meaning people in the House Republican Conference, and they're part of that 200 who are supporting Kevin McCarthy. Um, the problem is there's so much bad faith uh, that, that is uh, percolating right now that it makes it really hard to figure out who is acting in good faith, who's really willing to come to a deal. Are there more uh, than, uh, than four or five of these people? So it's, it's tough to, to nail them down. And that's what they've been trying to do this week, is figure out who's being honest, who can I really deal with, or who just really wants us to be talking about them on the news. But